All right, welcome back, guys. We're facing off against the Dark Horde this time, a much more formidable enemy than the Scourge, usually. And yeah, we only have to take this one settlement. And that's it. It's the only thing that they control in this area. So let's start off by lining up like usual. We have a bunch of spellcasters, so that's uh, it's going to give us quite an advantage. We also have a lot of archers, rangers, some arcane guardians. Should go well, as long as I don't make a huge mistake. Like forgetting to turn off skirmish mode. We're not, we're not going to make that mistake again. I haven't made that mistake in a while, actually. Alright, what should I do with the Arcane Guardians? I only have two. Two sets of them. Maybe one on each flank? I think that would make sense. Mm, Alright, it's good enough. Good enough. But considering where the second army is coming from, let's move everyone on the right flank. And let's see what they do. Looks like they're heading for the right flank. Alright, they're getting almost in range of my archers. Yep, there we go. Let's see what happens. Everyone's shooting at them. Nice. What the? Look at that, the skirmish mode. I turned it off, but it got... Sometimes happens, it gets turned on even when I uh, turn it off. Really annoying. Really good that I noticed that in time. Ugh. I don't know why that happens. That could have gone extremely badly if I hadn't noticed that last second, but I, I did turn off skirmish mode. Like, it's, it's freaking weird. Maybe it's something in the mod settings where it's always by default on when a battle begins. But not... Oh, we killed the first general. But, um, but it's not always the case. Like, sometimes I turn it off when I'm setting it up and then it remains turned off, but then other times it gets turned on again. I, I've... I don't know. So we defeated the first army. The first army was much smaller than the second one, so let's change formations to get ready for the incoming second army. They're, uh, they're pretty far away. But hopefully they're going to get closer, otherwise I'm going to have to do... I don't have any cavalry, so I can't really lure them. Lure them pretty easily, so... I really hope they, uh... They get moving. Formations are looking pretty good. Arcane Guardians behind the Spellcasters, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good lineup. And I can see them in the distance. They're definitely moving, but are they moving closer or are they just moving back and forth? Because that can happen sometimes when they're not willing to engage. Doesn't look like they're getting closer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send some spellcasters in to do some damage, and by doing damage that's gonna mo Oh whoa, look at this. Blade Masters. Yeah, we need we uh, we definitely got a um, we definitely found a good target because the blade masters you want to hit them from a distance because if they get up close to melee range, it's very difficult defeating them. They're one of the best melee units in this whole freaking mod. So we've scanned the whole army basically. I think going for the blade masters would be the the wise move. Only 16% of the enemy dead. Hmm. That first army was tiny. So, yeah, let's. Looks like they're not coming. We're gonna have to 
send someone in to bait them. Let's find those blade masters again. Gonna send these guys. Who's that? Okay. It's just wolf riders. No big deal. Here are the blade masters, so hopefully we can do some serious damage. Because that'll make the fight a lot easier. They look really cool. I like when a powerful unit also looks cool. It's like one should go with the other. You have to deserve the beauty. You have to deserve the aesthetics. It has to be backed up with something um, tangible. All right, we're getting pretty close. Hopefully, I can hit them from far away. And if I can kill all of them, they might. It might, it might even be worth it to lose these uh, priests of the sun. We're getting really close. Any moment now, we'll be able to. Start shooting. Magic. Okay, alright, it begins. Let's see how many we can take down. Okay, we're hitting them. Nice, they're falling. Nice, 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 nice. About half of them. Two thirds. And we ran out of mana. Okay, not bad, not bad. And if we can get back safely. Let's rinse and repeat with another spellcaster unit. Same thing. Might as well continue going for the blade masters. Seventeen percent of the enemy down. It's kind of taking too long. On the one hand, I am glad that I was able to get those priests of the sun um, to safety. Oh, some, something's happening. They're moving. Maybe it worked. Now they're willing to engage. Okay, well, blade masters are too far away, so let's let's just attack someone else. Come on. All right, took care of them. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, attack them. Come on. Change target, nice. Change target again. Yeah, their army is unleashed. Well, this is nice, they're, <laughs> they're ignoring me. Let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, nice. Nice final blast. Yeah, it, yeah. I'm going to have to sacrifice that unit, but let's get ready for, for this army that's already close by. Oh, sh shit. Hope I don't lose my general. These arcane guardians back, back in formation. Hold the line. It's going pretty well. Whoa, half the enemy down. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're gonna win this. We are gonna win this. Oh, there are the remaining uh, blade masters. Oh man, I gotta hope the Arcane Guardians can uh, take care of them. Let's deal with someone else instead. I 
Hit him from the back. Some spearmen, some squishy, squishy spearmen. Nice! Wow, that ended very quickly all of a sudden. Heroic victory, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. I lost almost no troops. That went extremely well. It could have gone so wrong. Look at those ratios. Everyone killed at least like 100, 150. Execute. Exterminate so that we don't have any public order issues. I don't want to deal with that headache. Destroy these horde buildings, orc buildings. Let's replace them with nice, beautiful elven buildings instead. All right. And now we're gonna have to look for another target because the rest of the dark um, horde settlements are kind of far away. I don't wanna look, look for them. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we could attack the Burning Legion next because they usually take over the Swamp of Sorrows. And we could take some ships, go down, it's not too far away, land on the coastline. So let me go do that. Let's get in these ships and head on south. I could also land in the Blasted Lands, so that's an option as well, but Swamp of Sorrows is probably good too. It's been like, yeah, it's been 61 turns, so there's a very high chance the Burning Legion has taken the Swamp of Sorrows. Alright, let's do some building, micromanagement. We have a ton of money, so we can afford to just construct anything without... Yeah, really, uh, being too strategic about it. Uh, yeah, let's let's keep rec recruiting spellcasters. Uh, spellcasters are expensive, but now we we finally have the money to just make half half of every stack just spellcasters. Micromanagement, micromanagement. Yeah. Yeah, Arcane Guardians. I'm always going to recruit Arcane Guardians. They are so durable. It's better to have 20 Arcane Guardians than like 200 regular infantry. Especially because um, Arcane Guardians, they have unbreakable morale. So, you know, you really get your money's worth. They fight to the death. Okay, let's see. Some public order issues. Religious building's gonna fix them. One, two, three, th I think like four turns till we uh, get the Swamp of Sorrows. Not too bad. Three more. And it would be four to the Blasted Lands. Let's build up this garrison here. It's a citadel, so I can have quite a few free upkeep garrison units. Alright, two more turns till we land in the Swamp of Sorrows. One more turn. We're getting real, real close. Check if we can recruit more here. Nice. All right, we're about to land. We have no idea. Oh, okay, so... Doesn't look like they have a huge garrison, so that could be good. We could maybe... But I'm not going to risk it. Let's build a fort. Oh, there's mercenary units. We actually... We could use some... kind of came with a pretty small army. And I'm going to send the ships back, and we're going to send another army over, because we're facing the Burning Legion. We need multiple stacks to take care of them. It'll be um, quite a slog. 
It'll, it'll be tough. Okay, ship's gonna pick them up in like two turns. Also have a stack at Zulaman. So let's let's build a second navy so I can bring two armies at the same time. And also gotta oh, here are the spellcasters that I recruited. They're gonna be really useful. And yeah. Okay, here are these ships. That this is gonna be a really powerful stack. A bunch of rangers, spellcasters, generals, bodyguard. Really good army. Burning Legion's not gonna stand a chance. Till these two armies at least get close before I engage in the Swamp of Sorrows. Because look at that, yep. Marsh Tide Watch has much bigger garrison now. Let's bring let's bring these ships south. And I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. I ho hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. Please subscribe, and in the next one, we'll be facing the Burning Legion, and that should be pretty exciting.